Hello, everybody. Are you ready for another special show of Tiger and Tim? Are you ready, Tiger? Of course you're ready. You were born ready. We welcome you all. Welcome. Guess what the theme is today? Find out in a second. Welcome to the show, indeed. Tiger and Tim here to entertain and educate you all once again. And today, it's an episode about time travel. We're going back to ancient Egypt. Can you believe it? We're almost going, you might say, back to the future. One for you adults out there. Well, we were in food heaven for our last episode, food glorious food, and we did enjoy eating in that episode, didn't we, Tiger? Yeah, we always enjoy eating. That's very true. But today we're going out of the house and getting right outside and going back in time, as I said, to ancient Egypt, exotic Egypt, with the pyramids, the pharaohs, this kind of thing. So, shall we get to it, Tiger? Yeah, you're ready for ancient Egypt. Mhm.、Mm、okay. Let's get ready for time travel.、Woo! Well, we've travelled back thousands of years to the pyramids of ancient Egypt for your tigers this time, haven't we? But we haven't seen any animals yet. Oh my goodness! It's your uncle Tony the tiger. My goodness! Hello, Tony. Not to be confused with any other famous tigers called Tony adults. Hello. Well, seeing as we've travelled all this way back to ancient Egypt, Tiger and Uncle Tony, hello again. <laughs> we should probably find out about some exotic or interesting animals during this section, shouldn't we? And did you know, perhaps the most notable or most common animal in Egypt, maybe the most famous, is the camel. And the camel is famous mainly for its humps. We do love a camel. But now it's the section of the show where you guys send us pictures of your tigers, your pets, isn't it, Tiger? Yes. I haven't had an elephant yet. I would love someone to send in their pet elephant. I wonder if anyone in the world has a pet elephant, Tiger. Yes, someone does have a pet elephant. I can't believe it. It's Joshua, aged eleven. Who lives near to London in the United Kingdom, and this is him with an elephant on his holiday in Zimbabwe. Joshua, you've made me so happy! Fantastic! And who's this? I recognise one of these two cats. Tiger, what are you doing in your tigers? Well, I can see you're with a cat, a beautiful cat called Snow Rose. And Snow Rose is a rag doll cat, and they are famous for their beautiful blue eyes. And Snow Rose is in Norway. Hi, Tiger. Hi, your friend Snow Rose. And last but not least is Emil, who is just age one, and she is in Abu Dhabi, which is a city in the United Arab Emirates. The UAE, which is a country in Asia, amazing. And you're with your dog, aren't you? Your dog is called White for obvious reasons, because she is white, and she is a Pomeranian breed, a beautiful breed of dog. Emil, White, you are great. Wasn't that amazing? We absolutely love seeing your tigers, your pets. They're so gorgeous and sweet and cute. Keep sending us in your pictures, everybody at home. We love seeing them, and we want more, more, more of your tigers to appear on the show. And to send us them, you need to go to our website, tigerandtim.com forward slash upload. Then you can send us in pictures of your kids or you tiger cubs with. 
your pets. We want to see both of you, but remember to send it in a landscape format. Please, adults, we like landscapes, so it looks more beautiful during our episodes. Well, I was right, tiger cubs. I thought this story time might be about Egypt or ancient Egypt, but this story, seeing as we've had lots of fun before in the show, is a time for you guys to be calm, to be cool, to sit down, relax, and to listen to the story. And also, if you can, try to read along with us as well. And after the episode is finished, perhaps you can watch it again and read it to anyone you know. This story is called Sneezer Magiza and the Search for the Mummy Mummy. Let's begin then, Tiger Cubs and Tiger, of course. Sneezer Magiza flew into Egypt on a big airliner. He was on vacation and wanted to see the pyramids along the Nile. Sneezer rented a camel from Omar's Rent a Camel shop and headed out over the Sahara Desert. To see the pyramids from far away, the pyramids looked very small. The closer he got to the pyramids, the bigger they seemed to be. They got bigger and bigger and bigger still until they were huge. Suddenly, a small boy ran by, all wrapped up in some kind of cloth. He was crying. Wow! And he seemed very sad. Oh, that's not very nice, is it? We don't like anyone sad, do we, Tiger? No.、Oh. Sneezer wanted to help, so he got off his camel and said to the boy, "Hey, little fella, what's the matter?" The little fella said that he was a mummy and that he had lost his mummy, mummy, or was it his mummy, mummy? No one knows for sure, but he said. I think she's in that big pyramid right over there. Sneezer decided to help the little mummy find his mummy. They spotted an opening in the side of the pyramid and climbed up to it. Going inside, they found themselves in a long, dark tunnel surrounded by huge stones. It led deep into the pyramid. The deeper they walked into the pyramid. The narrower the tunnel became. It sounds a bit scary, Tiger. Are you scared? You're not. I am. The ceiling was getting lower too, so Sneezer had to crouch lower and lower, and then had to crawl. There was a room at the end of the tunnel where the little mummy found his mummy, mummy. But the tunnel was so narrow at that point that Sneezer got stuck and couldn't get free. Oh no! Uh oh! Hey, little fella," said Sneezer. "Can you go for help?" "Sorry," said the little mummy. "I'd like to, but you are blocking the only way out, so I cannot go for help." Then he ran down another tunnel and disappeared. Oh, <gasps> Sneezer was on his own. Sneezer was in trouble. And began calling for help, but he knew that no one could hear him. He must have been so scared, Tiger. We would have been scared, definitely. He knew that he would have to figure out a way to get himself out of this mess. As it turns out, Sneezer has a very unusual talent. Every time he hears someone say, "There's nothing to sneeze about." He lets loose with a powerful sneeze, achoo! Just like that, kids. But his sneezing only works if someone else says it. Earlier, when he was calling for help, Sneezer heard his voice echoing through the pyramid. So he had a brilliant idea. If he were to shout the magic words and then listen to his own echo. Maybe he could trick himself into sneezing. So he shouted. I wonder what happened, kids. What do you think, Tiger? I hope it worked. That's nothing, nothing to, to sneeze, sneeze about. about. It echoed, kids. It worked. When he heard his words echoing through the pyramid, he began to feel the urge to 
Yep. And two! Wow, what a loud one. He must have nearly knocked the pyramids down. And as you can see from the picture, it worked. Sneezer sneezed so hard that he forced himself out of the tunnel as if he'd been shot out of a cannon, like a rocket. He zipped out of the pyramid and soared like a rocket over the hot desert sands, shouting, Yahoo! All the way. And then Sneezer got really lucky because he landed with a big splash in the Nile River. The only water for miles around. That was very lucky. He swam to the shore. Then his camel came trotting over to pick him up. Sneezer was safe at last. What a good camel. And that is the end of this Sneezer McGeezer adventure. What a great story. And it was set in the pyramids in Egypt, which as you know, kids, are thousands of years old. Story time is over. I think it's now time for the Quiz Master's entrance, isn't it, Tiger? It is. It's time for Quiz Corner. Hello, Tiger Cubs. It's me, your Quiz, Quiz Master. Master. And this is, of course, Quiz Corner, isn't it, Tiger? You're very good at this, aren't you? Yeah. But where is my perfectly fitting hat? I can't see it anywhere. Oh, who threw that? <laughs> I don't believe it. Well, luckily, my hat still fits perfectly. Can't you see, kids? Don't I look great? Well, I've removed my perfectly fitting hat now, Tiger Cubs, and I'm ready for the quiz. And of course, as you know, this episode is all about time travel and going back to Egypt and ancient Egypt. So of course, the, the quiz, quiz masters. masters quiz is about Egypt and ancient Egypt. Are you excited, Tiger? Let's start then. Question one. The famous river that runs through Egypt is called the River Nile. True or false, Tiger? Yes, it is true, Tiger. You're so good. I hope some of you kids guessed it as well. And if you were listening earlier in the episode, you would have heard us mention the River Nile. We gave you a clue there. Question two then, kids. And you, Tiger. True or false, the ancient Egyptians made boats out of the reed plant. This is a plant that usually grows by the river. Yes, Tiger! Two out of two. You always get them right. It is true. Can you believe it? The ancient Egyptians made boats out of reed plants. Amazing, they were so clever. Question three, number three. There are four pyramids in Giza, which is the area just outside of the capital city in Egypt called Cairo. True or false? Correct, Tiger, it is false. There are three pyramids in Giza, the famous ancient pyramids of Giza in Egypt. Amazing. But as well as the three pyramids, you can also see the Great Sphinx of Giza, or commonly known as the Sphinx. And did you know it's an imaginary creature with the body of a lion? <laughs> and the head of a human. Sounds scary, doesn't it? Question four now. True or false, Tiger Cubs? The pyramids of Giza, and you now know there are three pyramids, are 500 years old. True or false? Tiger? Correct. Four out of four, the answer is false because the pyramids are actually not 500 years old, they are 4,500 years old. Almost as old as me, Tiger, hey? Okay, it's time for the final question of Quiz Corner. The ancient Egyptians invented the first type of paper in history. True or false? 
What do you think, Tiger? You're right. Five out of five. It is true, kids. Yes, it was called papyrus and was made from a plant which once grew a lot near to the River Nile, but is now quite rare. And that is also the reed plant. And did you know the word paper comes from papyrus? Papyrus, which was a plant in ancient Egypt. Those ancient Egyptians were so clever, weren't they? And you're so clever. That's five out of five. Now, if I remember rightly, you've done lots of different things to me as a reward for getting all of your answers right, haven't you? What do you want to do to me today? He wants to turn me into a mummy. Oh my goodness. But if you insist, I will become a mummy. Here we go. Three, two, one. Oh no, he's done it again. <laughs> five out of five, Tiger. And now I'm a mummy. Oh. How can I host this show with you if I'm dressed as a mummy tiger? I can barely see or talk. Ah! Please turn me back to normal tiger so I can sing the end of the show song with you. Oh, I'm so relieved. I'm back to my <laughs> normal self again. And that means in this episode, I can sing the end of the show song in our final section the Tiger and Tim Fan Cup. We'll see you there. We've made it to the end of another show. Are you sad, Tiger? Yeah, me too. And this has been a great one. Time travel with Tiger and Tim, and we've traveled back to ancient Egypt, which is an amazing place. And so many things that we can learn about ancient Egypt, aren't there? Mm-hmm. If you watch Tiger and Tim, then you are a member of the Tiger and Tim Fan Cup. But being a member means we expect you to be kind to others, respectful to your elders, to your family, to your parents, and so on. Keep reading, eat healthily, and generally be a very good Tiger Cup. Anything else? Ah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. And if you watched episode four, you'll know that was the first time we did the end of the show song. So I'm still learning it, and I want you all to sing along with us to help me learn, but to also help you learn it as well. Are you ready? Let's do it then! Work hard at school, we'll think you're cool. Learning is rather fun. We both like heat, ah, veggies and treats. But books are our favourite things. Remember to draw, not with tiger's paw, and be kind to the people you meet. Oh, we go together like strawberries and cream. With Tiger and Tim, you'll dare to dream. Keep reading, kids, and we'll see you in episode six for the magic of sport. Say bye-bye. Bye-bye.